Welcome back to the Infographic Show Travel Agency. You might want to think twice about these destinations on your next trip. Violent crimes, murder, assault, robbery, and kidnapping are all risks in many of these places. These are the 30 most violent cities in the world. Number 30. Macapa, Brazil Near where the Amazon River meets the Atlantic Ocean, Macapa is a picturesque place that looks like it could be the perfect vacation destination, but appearances can be deceiving. The city of almost 500,000 people entered international news when famous yachtsman Peter Blake was murdered in the port of Macapa in 2001. The crime has only gotten worse since, with a murder rate of 47.2 per 100,000 residents. Macapa is a densely populated city with a lot of issues with poverty. That leads to many crimes of desperation, as violent robberies are common. While it's host to many industries, including gold, iron, and lumber, it hasn't trickled down to everyone. But for those tempted by the stunning views and local culture, an international airport is waiting. And it's not the only time we'll see Brazil on this list. Number 29. Salvador, Brazil Salvador, the first major city on this list, with a population of close to 3 million. It's also a city with a lot of history, being the first capital of Brazil and one of the oldest colonies in the Americas. It hosts the largest carnival celebration in the world, which makes it an inviting site for tourists. But they should watch their backs when visiting, with a murder rate of 47.23 per 100,000 residents. It has a particular issue with youth violence. Gun crime in the city more than doubled in a 10-year period, and its murder rate increased a shocking 418 percent from 2000 to 2010. The city is known for its rich culture, stunning culinary scene, and mix of European, African, and indigenous cultures. It has one of the best beaches in the world and attracts millions of tourists per year. Just watch your wallet when you go swimming. Now let's head north to one of South America's most volatile countries. Number 28. Maturin, Venezuela With just under 500,000 people and a thriving petroleum industry, Maturin, Venezuela would seem to be a place set up for success. It's a busy transportation hub with people coming from all around the country, but it has a rough history, made only worse by civil war and disease outbreaks. 520 kilometers from the country's capital, today it suffers from many of the same crises as the rest of the country high inflation, political tensions, and crime that results from both. With a murder rate of 47.24 per 100,000 residents, it's not much of a tourist destination, and many countries advise citizens to avoid traveling there due to Venezuela's volatile political climate. For those who do brave the city, they'll find some of Venezuela's most stunning monuments and rich historical sites. Venezuela is not the only country in the region that has a problem. Number 27. Palmyra, Colombia when you think of the most violent cities in the world, you probably don't think about farmers. Palmyra is a southwestern Colombian city with a population of around 300,000. The country's agricultural capital surrounding the city are massive crops of sugarcane, coffee, tobacco, and grains. So much, in fact, that illegal burning of wasted sugarcane has impacted Palmyra's air quality. The city has a murder rate of 47.97 per 100,000 residents, mostly due to gang violence. The police have started cracking down on the violence and successfully reduced the murder rate, both with policing and an increase in social support for the city's youth. But visitors to the modern city, which has two huge modern football stadiums, might face another problem when trying to sightsee. The motorcycle is the city's most common form of transportation, and those crossing the street often find themselves in a battle for survival. Now let's head north to a whole other continent. Number 26. Coatzacoalcos, Mexico The major port city of Coatzacoalcos has been a key part of Mexico, even before the arrival of Spanish colonists. Located in the state of Veracruz, it has a population of just under 350,000 and is dominated by the petrochemical industry. The combination of it being a major transport hub and the presence of violent cartels makes it a dangerous city to visit. Being in the headlines in 2019 for a devastating nightclub fire that killed 31 people, a tragic accident? Authorities don't think so, blaming the Jalisco New Generation cartel for blocking the exits. The city has a murder rate of 48.35 per 100,000 residents. Still, its population might have some hope. With the heavy investment of chemical companies like Permex in the city, economic prosperity may be pushing the locals toward a crackdown on local violence. Heading back to Brazil, we find a city with a split identity. Number 25. Aracaju, Brazil For those visiting Aracaju, they'll immediately be struck by its rich Roman Catholic history. The city of 664,000 is home to the massive Metropolitan Cathedral Nossa Senhora de Conceição, one of the country's most famous churches. It's become an investment site for those from Eastern Europe and China and a popular choice for low-cost tourism. Its hostels are often packed with young backpackers looking for a low-price adventure in South America, but that doesn't mean it's a city to let your guard down in. 
Crimes of opportunity and gang violence are the main contributors to its murder rate of 48.77 per 100,000 residents. The city is hoping that an increase in social services and public transportation will help them cut down on crime. After all, there are Russian and Chinese oligarchs looking to invest. Moving to Central America, this modern city suffers from a massive problem. Number 24. San Salvador, El Salvador One of the first colonies in Central America, San Salvador was founded in 1525, but it's been moved twice since then. Today, it's one of the biggest financial hubs of Central America, and its population of over 2 million has made it one of the region's most modern and diverse cities. It's located in a volcanic valley and is prone to earthquakes, but the public is more worried about more down-to-earth threats namely a murder rate of 50.32 per 100,000 residents. The Spanish hub is known for its unique architecture and huge art museum, as well as its bustling business scene. But the city grew faster than many were ready for, leading to overcrowding in many areas. That's led to an increase in crime, but hasn't stopped tourists and visitors from around the world exploring the city's culture, including the oldest theater and largest sports stadium in Central America. Now it's time to head to the United States. Number 23. Baltimore, Maryland most East Coast residents have visited Baltimore or at least passed through. It's on the country's most popular train route and near Washington, D.C. With a population of 2.8 million, it's just out of the country's top 20 most populous cities. The metropolis is home to rich cultural sites, including one of the country's largest aquariums and several prominent museums. It's always been a hub for immigrants and is now one of the most diverse cities in the country. But it's also one of the most violent with a murder rate of 50.52 per 100,000 residents. Much of the blame for this goes to poverty in some areas of the city and a rise in gang violence. These aren't the only factors to blame, as the city's also been roiled by protests against racial violence and police brutality. Baltimore has its troubles, but the constant influx of visitors from around the country means authorities will be under constant pressure to improve conditions for its residents. This next city's name has a dark edge to it. Number 22. Vitoria de Conquista, Brazil Located near Salvador and founded in 1783 by a Portuguese conquistador, Vitoria de Conquista, it was named in celebration of a victory over several native tribes. The eastern city now has a population of 340,000 and is home to thriving university as well as a growing medical and commerce scene. It's considered one of Brazil's fastest growing retail and tourism sites, which makes the murder rate of 50.75 per 100,000 worrisome to the locals. Although the murder rate has decreased somewhat recently, going down from 10th place in 2019 to 22nd place this year, the densely populated city is still considered one of the country's most dangerous places. So if you're hoping to shop its crowded urban markets or catch a Serie D football game, keep your wits about you. Heading to the east coast of Brazil, this next city is one of dichotomies. Number 21. Maceió, Brazil When Maceió was founded, it was just a sugar mill and a large plantation. But as ships arrived to collect its wood, it became a thriving export hub. By 1815, it turned into a village, and by 1839, it was the regional capital. Today, the port city has a population of just over 1 million and has a thriving economy based on chemicals and sugarcane. It's also a fast-growing tourist scene that hasn't been discouraged by the city's murder rate of 51.46 per 100,000 residents. Its beaches are seen as some of Brazil's best. Its music scene is found everywhere from nightclubs to impromptu street parties, and museums celebrate everything from indigenous art to the history of photography. It hosts vast festivals and is widely praised for its local seafood. The tourists keep coming, which means the government sees cutting down on the murder rate and improving local conditions as a priority. Now we head north once again for a visit to the Gulf of California. Number 20. Ciudad Obregón, Mexico Most visitors to western Mexico are likely to pay a visit to Baja, but a tourism gem lies just east of the region. The second largest city in Sonora, Ciudad Obregón, is known for its short, mild winters and extremely hot summers that bring wind and sandstorms. With a large population of native Yaqui people, it has a rich history and one of Mexico's most educated cities. It's become a popular tourist site due to attractions including its artificial lagoon and large museum dedicated to Yaqui history. At several points during the year, it hosts large festivals dedicated to art and music. But the city is a hub of cartel activity, with the Sinaloa Cartel and the Beltran Leva Cartel battling for control of the drug scene and smuggling routes. While most tourist sites are safe, the city's murder rate of 52.09 per 100,000 residents gives some tourists second thoughts about visiting. For our next city, it's island time. Number 19. Kingston, Jamaica the capital city and largest city on the Caribbean island, Kingston's metropolitan area contains just under 1.2 million people. It brings many tourists to the dense urban center, with many of them hoping to experience a taste of authentic Jamaican culture. 
Bob Marley and other reggae musicians created an interest in Jamaica abroad, leading to tourism becoming the city's primary industry. It's also a bustling port city, sending exports around the world, but the fast-growing city has become overpopulated and up to 20% of the city's population lives in squatter settlements. That has led to many crimes of desperation, and the city's growing divide between classes has created a lot of tension. The murder rate of 54.12 per 100,000 residents deters some tourists, but many decide to brave it for the city's rich culinary and cultural scene, not to mention that Bob Marley Museum. In southern Mexico lies a city with a surprising past and a violent present. Number 18. Uruapan, Mexico Today, Uruapan has a population of over 356,000 and is a thriving urban center, but its architecture calls back to a much simpler time when it was a pre-Hispanic settlement inhabited by the Purapicha natives. Remnants of that architecture from various settlement waves can be explored if you decide to brave the streets of Uruapan. The city has become a thriving agricultural center, with its key crops including avocados and macadamias, so if you love your guacamole, you might want to thank Uruapan. The city is known more for its climate and stunning waterfalls than for its tourism, with one of the only major tourist attractions being a large zoo. But the rough climate, as well as a battle between organized crime families, has made it a challenging place to live. The murder rate of 54.52 per 100,000 residents has spurred some people to action, with an armed civilian group looking to drive out the criminals. Now it's back to Venezuela, where a large city has fallen on hard times. Number 17. Barquisimeto, Venezuela with a population of just under a million, Barquisimeto is the troubled nation's fourth largest city and is known as a key urban and commercial center. It is one of the country's largest churches, the Cathedral of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, and is known for its large collection of universities and academic institutions. But like the rest of Venezuela, government unrest and growing poverty have led the city to struggle. Its murder rate of 56.67 per 100,000 is mostly driven by people being unable to get basic goods, leading to an increase in gang activity. In 2013, the city was the site of a massive prison riot at the gang-dominated Uribana prison, which left 50 dead and led to international condemnation of the overcrowded conditions in the jail. Back in Mexico, we find a city of luxury and danger. Number 16. Culiacan, Mexico The largest city in Sinaloa, Culiacan, is one of the many cities founded by the conquistadors. With a population of just over 1 million, the city is a popular tourist destination today, known for its dancing fountains, large cathedrals, and all the amenities you'd want on a Mexican vacation. Culiacan also has a large agricultural scene, being a huge trade center of produce and meat, which makes up almost a third of the state economy. This influx of money created by trade has been spent on making the city more welcoming, with a large number of parks and tourist attractions being built. But the tourists aren't the only residents. The city is home base of the notorious Sinaloa cartel, which is involved in drug trafficking around Mexico. While tourist areas are relatively safe, there's always a risk of being caught in the crossfire, and the murder rate of 60.52 per 100,000 residents means that danger is never far in the city. And now it's time to answer. What is the most violent city in the United States? Number 15. St. Louis, Missouri when you visit St. Louis, most people think about the massive arch that stands over the city or its many pro sports teams. Part of a larger bi-state metropolitan area with over 2.5 million people, the city proper has 300,000 residents and is one of the Midwest's biggest hubs. While the city center is recognized for its museums and botanical gardens, the city's outskirts are rather different. On the outskirts, there's a constant battle against both local crime and police brutality. The city of Ferguson, part of a greater St. Louis metropolitan area, became one of the country's biggest flashpoints in the early 2010s. The city continues to struggle with a murder rate of 60.59 per 100,000 residents, by far the highest in the United States. Local activists continue to demand that something be done to improve the conditions. Returning to Brazil, it's a city with a long history. Number 14. Feira de Santana, Brazil How did Feira de Santana get its name? From the old cattle fairs that were held there in the 19th century. But today, the city of 619,000 is a very different place. Once the site of plantations and a key thoroughway for cowboys, it's now a historical site filled with cathedrals and home to some of the region's biggest festivals. St. Anne's Day, a massive party in July, brings tourists from around the world. But it's a major transportation hub, which means drug traffickers are never too far away. And its murder rate of 63.29 per 100,000 residents makes it one of the most dangerous cities in the world. But it's not the most dangerous place in Brazil yet. You might have heard about this place being called a paradise, but it's anything but. Number 13. Cancun, Mexico 
on the northeast coast of the Yucatan Peninsula is one of Mexico's top tourist destinations, a hub of beaches, stunning blue oceans, and tourist traps selling authentic Mexican decorations, or so they claim, for three times the usual price. Located near the Riviera Maya, the city of almost 900,000 attracts over 15 million visitors a year. The tourist areas are pretty safe. After all, those Americans are bringing in money and the state wouldn't want that to stop. But for these tourists who leave the resorts, they might find some unpleasant surprises. With a murder rate of 64.47 per 100,000 residents, the city is full of crime and violence if you go off the beaten path. It's the site of a conflict between multiple drug cartels, and it's starting to take a toll on the city's tourist scene as the word of the danger spreads. You guessed it, we're heading down south again to Brazil. Number 12. Belém, Brazil 100 miles from the Atlantic Ocean lies the city of Belém, the first European colony on the Amazon. As the bridge between urban Brazil and the jungles of the Amazon, it's a crowded city of 1.5 million and a massive hub for travel. It's a popular stop for tourists with rich cultural and natural scenes, as well as the site of the largest religious event in Brazil, the procession of the Sirio de Nazaré. The massive Amazon Biopark Zoo is the closest many people get to the local wildlife of the rainforest when they visit. But with heavy travel comes certain bad elements, and like other cities in Brazil, Belém plays host to criminals from around the country due to its thriving export scene. That's resulted in a murder rate of 65.31 per 100,000 residents, but it hasn't slowed Belém's growth. And now we travel to another continent for our only stopover in Africa. Number 11. Cape Town, South Africa one of the largest cities in South Africa, Cape Town is no stranger to conflict. The city was one of the hubs of battle to end the apartheid in the late 20th century, and today the city of 4.7 million is considered one of the best places to visit in the world. It's been praised for its rich collection of historical sites and has been host to many major events like the 2010 World Cup, and has a great deal of both cultural diversity and biodiversity. But its population is growing fast, and that's led to overcrowding. While tourism accounts for 10% of the region's GDP, outside the main tourist hubs there are many dangers. The city has a major drug problem, and gang violence is rising in the overcrowded poorer areas of the city. While it currently has a murder rate of 66.36 per 100,000 residents, it doesn't seem to be deterring curious visitors. And it's another jump across the ocean back to South America. Number 10. Ciudad Bolivar, Venezuela Formerly known as Angostura, and home to the famous Angostura bitters that were given certain beverages their distinct flavor. Today, Ciudad Bolivar is the capital of Venezuela's Bolivar state. Like many other cities in Venezuela, it carries remnants of its colonial past, but the city of 400,000 has become a mix of old and new. It's primarily an agricultural region, exporting maize, watermelon, and cassava. However, its historic district attracts a lot of tourists, and it has a world-acclaimed museum of modern art. So, what leads it to having a murder rate of 69.01 per 100,000 residents? Not only is there a lot of gang activity, but police and judiciary are underfunded and known to be corrupt. Tourists still visit, but many tour the city in armored cars. And it's down south once again for two more spots in Brazil. Number 9. Fortaleza, Brazil Goal! Fortaleza is known globally as one of the major sports capitals of the world. With several football clubs in the city and its massive stadium playing host to two FIFA events, it's one of the largest and richest cities in Brazil, with a population of 2.7 million, and it brings in a lot of tourists due to its colorful architecture, lengthy coastline, and rich cultural scene. So how does it get to a murder rate of 69.15 per 100,000 residents? This is mostly due to gang activity in the poorer areas of the city, as the drug trade continues to grow away from the eyes of the tourists. Staying on the coastline of Brazil, but in a very different region, we come to our next city. Number 8. Natal, Brazil One of Brazil's many agricultural scenes, sending its bounty of fruit, carnauba wax, and crustaceans globally, Natal looks like a tropical paradise, but looks can be deceiving. The city of 890,000 has played host to the FIFA World Cup in 2014 and attracts tourists to its museums, aquariums, and notably, to the largest cashew tree in the world. It also holds one of the biggest carnival events in the world, but away from the tourist sites, crime is rampant. Poverty is a serious problem in many areas of the city, and rival gangs kill each other regularly. While most of the violence doesn't target tourists, the murder rate of 74.67 per 100,000 residents has many people questioning their travel plans. The infographic show airplane is getting quite the workout as we head back to Venezuela. Number 7. Ciudad Guayana, Venezuela From the second you set foot in Ciudad Guayana, you notice something different. This isn't a city with the long history of its fellow Venezuelan locations. It was only founded in 1961 by fusing two settlements and has been carefully planned from the beginning. 
It looks much like suburban neighborhoods in the United States because it was previously used for housing by American mining and steel companies in the 1960s. Today, Ciudad Guayana has over 700,000 people and is one of the country's fastest growing industrial center. It has shopping centers, hotels, and museums, but it isn't a major tourist hub. But like everywhere else in Venezuela, it suffered under a recent economic chaos. With a murder rate of 78.3 per 100,000 residents, it's unlikely to become a travel destination anytime soon. Now it's back to Mexico, and we're going to stay a while. Number 6. Irapuato, Mexico It's one of the smaller Mexican cities on the list. Irapuato started out as an agricultural center known for its strawberries, flowers, and pork. That changed with the arrival of industry, and now the city is dominated by automotive and chemical factories. With just over 500,000 people in the metropolitan area, Irapuato is deep inland and as such not a major tourist site. What it does have is a lot of cartel violence, leading to a murder rate of 81.44 per 100,000 residents. The most notorious incident was a pair of mass shootings at a drug rehab center in 2020, perhaps the cartel wanting to make sure that the demand didn't go down. Now you might start to see some more familiar names. Number 5. Ciudad Juarez, Mexico Not only is Juarez the most populous city in the state of Chihuahua, but it's a border city with El Paso and that binational metropolitan area has over 2.7 million people. That also makes it a flashpoint for crime, as the high population and proximity to the US makes it easy to disappear and never be found. The city is notorious for missing women and wars between the Juarez and Sinaloa cartel. The Juarez Police Department has been deploying more officers to fight back. Even local vigilantes have entered the fray, but that hasn't made much of a dent. Juarez has a sky-high murder rate of 85.56 per 100,000 residents. Between that and its heavy air pollution, it's mostly a residential city without much tourism. And now, we'll head to the east coast of Mexico. Number 4. Ciudad Victoria, Mexico The capital of the state of Victoria, with only around 300,000 residents, Ciudad Victoria has a rich cultural scene including zoos, parks, museums, and even a state-of-the-art planetarium. Every year in October, it holds a massive international cultural festival. Tourists come regularly, and the city looks state-of-the-art on the surface. If you like Mexican food, you might want to check it out. It's the world capital of the Gordita. But much like Mexico, it struggles with poverty away from the tourist areas and the cartels have taken full advantage. The murder rate of 86.01 hasn't deterred more daring tourists, though. Now it's time for one final visit to Venezuela. Number 3. Caracas, Venezuela with 2.2 million people, everything's bigger in the capital city of Venezuela, and that includes the country's troubles. Venezuela has been rocked by massive political conflict in recent years, with two different men claiming the title of president. This has increased street violence and police crackdowns on the opposition, but amid the chaos, Caracas is still a modern metropolis with a high number of universities and sports teams, as well as one of the most renowned art museums in South America. But between the financial troubles in the country and the lack of consistent policing in the city, many of the capital's murders go unsolved. The murder rate of just under 100 is so high, the US and UK have issued travel warnings. It's back to the beach for our next city. Number 2. Acapulco de Juarez, Mexico Ah, Acapulco. The Mexican seaport is one of the country's most southern cities and a common port of call for cruise ships. With a population of 687,000 in a tropical climate, it has tourism-driven economies centered around the port. People drop by to experience its party atmosphere. Its hotels and resorts are commonly filled with Americans and Europeans, but its glory days might be far behind it, due to the pollution in the water and the growing unemployment and poverty in the city. And where there's poverty, the cartel is never far behind. Drug-related violence in the city is rising, and the city has a high murder rate of 110.5 per 100,000 residents. But for most of the tourists, the worst they'll have to deal with is being overcharged for a beer. Surely, no one's going to go as a tourist to the most violent city in the world, right? Wait, what's that stampede? Number 1. Tijuana, Mexico Spring Break It's a rite of passage for college students across America, and many of them have only one place in mind, Tijuana. The Mexican resort town with almost 2 million people that's right across the US border. But you should know something before you pack your bags. Tijuana is the most violent city in the world, with a murder rate of 138 per 100,000 residents. Although most of the violence lies far from the tourist spots, you should still be wary, as being robbed is not uncommon. Don't expect help from the police either, as they are notoriously corrupt. Want to know where else not to travel? Watch Avoid These Tourist Spots When Traveling After The Pandemic. More worried about what you shouldn't do? Check out embarrassing tourist mistakes you make in different countries. 